what's going on adventurers? We are currently visiting SeaWorld today. We decided to come over because there is a special event happening just this weekend and next weekend. It's called Inside Look, where you actually get to go behind the scenes on several of the different attractions here. And I have to say so far, the highlight of the day has been going behind the scenes, having a first look of the shark encounter. I have loved this particular attraction since I was a kid, and I can't tell you how exciting it's been to go behind the scenes and check it out. You guys are gonna see it shortly. We're gonna take you through the shark encounter first though, so we're gonna make you wait for a few minutes. Um, we're currently eating at Shark's Underwater Grill. Very sharky here. It's very sharky. So very cool. We're getting ready to have our lunch right now and dinner. It's kind of like between lunch and dinner right now. It's like four o'clock. So um, we have our salads right now, and we ordered a fillet to split. And we are sitting here enjoying the ambiance. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you how amazing it is to sit here and like just watch these beautiful sharks swim by as you're eating your meal. It's pretty cool, right? It's hard to look at the camera because these sharks are right here behind us. Shark, so I'm shark. like, I'm like shark, 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 shark. shark. <laughs> Pretty, okay. Pretty great. So I'm gonna turn y'all around and let you see what we're seeing because it's quite the experience. And then I'm gonna show you the food as it comes out. How awesome is that, guys? Just sitting here in our booth, watching these beautiful animals swim by. I love it. It's about as relaxing as it can get, I think. So again, the restaurant is called Shark's Underwater Grill. So they do things a little bit differently. This is blue cheese dressing, but apparently it's warm. So I haven't tried mine yet. I think I think Lisa's gonna go ahead and try hers and see. Mm. Let's see. This is a blue cheese. I've never had a warm blue cheese dressing. Um, so. Let's see her reaction. She always has the funniest reactions with food. <laughs> so. <laughs> I like the warm. Do you? Yeah. And the blue cheese is really smooth, that one. Oh, okay. I like that. Here's our entree. Filet mignon, mashed potatoes, broccoli, carrots, and a reduction sauce. So we're gonna see how this tastes. It looks delicious. All right, guys, so check it out. This is a little bit closer look from Shark's Underwater Grill. We're getting ready to head down there into that acrylic tube which is the shark encounter. And a little bit later, you're gonna see a inside look what it's like to be above all this water, which is like over 700,000 gallons of water, guys. There's a beautiful sawfish saying hello. This is amazing. It's a giant ray over there, gliding across the top of the tube. All right, guys, we are headed into the shark encounter. This is so exciting. I love, love, love this attraction. It's one of my favorites of all time. This is so cool. So you guys might have noticed I'm on an ECV today <laughs> because of the smooth filming. Um, actually, the reason I decided to get one today is because I hurt my foot. I think it might be like, what do they call it? Plantar fasciitis, a heel spur. So. But this is gonna make for some great filming. I'm gonna take you guys through here. It's gonna be very smooth and exciting. Look at that shadow. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. This is awesome. We are going down, down, down to the depths of the sharks. Here we go. 
Sharks usually hunt things that are sick, dying, or dead. By stopping the spread of diseases, sharks keep the ocean and people healthy. Have you thanked a shark today? We're almost there. We're getting close. Sharks have been on Earth long before dinosaurs, yet they may be facing their greatest challenge to survive today. Wow, this is so cool. This is one of my favorite attractions of all time at SeaWorld. Look at this beautiful ray. What's up, Mr. Ray? Sharks don't often eat. They rarely feed where people swim. Most sharks are too small to harm humans. Look at this guy. And we are not a part of their natural diet. Oh, there goes the sawtooth right above us. That is so perfect. Deep down, we're both afraid and beautiful. And her greater understanding of their diversity, design, behavior, and critical role in the ocean. What a cool experience this is. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Mr. Sawtooth. That was really cool. Who else wants to be? A YouTube star. Not all sharks have to constantly swim to breathe and survive. We can nurse you all sometimes. That was so cool. Or our shark. Oh look, there's some nurse sharks here. Check out the nurse sharks, guys. And continue That's a I believe that's a nurse shark as well. That was awesome. It's it's always just as exciting, whether it's your first time or your thousandth time going through the shark encounter. Absolutely love this attraction. So let me just show you guys this. Avoid souvenirs made from animals. This is basically uh, a, a cross section of that acrylic tunnel we were just in. It said, Imagine three six ton elephants. Now imagine these elephants standing on one foot length of acrylic tube, identical to the tube through which you just passed. The tube could take it, the elephants, if the elephants could do it. So, wow, that thing is super thick. Okay, guys, we're gonna go to the inside look. And this is the Shark Encounter, one of my favorite attractions here at SeaWorld Orlando. This is the Shark Encounter water filtration system. And that is pretty amazing. Look how intricate everything is. Wow. This is so cool. 700,000 gallons of water is filtered through here every day. All right, guys, we are behind the scenes. We are in. Guys, so this is the medical pool, and it was actually included in the movie Jaws 3 with Dennis Quaid. It was a very cool movie. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. Oh wow, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. This is amazing. So right there is the, the shark encounter. That's the tunnel, the acrylic tunnel that, that you go through. Wow. This is amazing. All right, anytime if you hear me, let me know. I got a really loud voice, but it's easier if I stand this way and talk than if I stand in the middle behind people. Um, first and foremost, this is a cool spot because if any of you have been through the tunnel, now you get a good chance to see something a little bit different, that different side if you've ever seen people up above. But a couple of the things that are really important in here, I'm just going to point out the thing that's probably the most obvious is that age. How do you get to do it? Well, you need to be a middle schooler or a high schooler, you need to take one of our camps. But we put the kids in that, not the 
bad kids, but all kids, <laughs> so that they can actually look eye to eye with the shark in a very safe environment, but in a way that they can be inspired and really just uh, love sharks. Maybe not as much as me, but maybe y'all don't close. So that's something. We do have the saltfish that's been swimming around and a few other species, nurse sharks and whatnot. Um, there's a saltfish laying in that sandy area. But the important stuff that is here, off to your left, that is actually a movable bridge. So what you will do is uh, move that bridge. Let's say on uh, twice a week, you're going to dive this exhibit because the health of the animals starts all with a healthy environment. So the net will get dropped down, the bridge will move. You move it all the way to the other side, but that would be a little tight for the animals. So you can move about halfway so that the fish and sharks are on one side, and then the divers can get in the water. Not so worried about the sharks harming anybody as, as much as we are a little more concerned of we're using high power hoses and we just don't want to hose one of those sharks and actually cause any harm to them. And then if we need to do clean that right side, the bridge and that go the whole way, drop the net and push it back this way so the animals are on one side. But the saltfish that was swimming around, did everybody see it? Oh, it's right below you. Just be real careful, don't go too far over the edge there. But that saltfish right there has the perfect face to unfortunately get stuck in that. So that's actually one of the big problems that it has out okay. in the ocean. But what you don't want to do is have that animal get entangled in that net. That's where that net pool, which probably we talked about where the animal gets to go over there and spend time and where it gets to get fed. So that's where it's going to stay safe. Also, take a look at the tongs across the way. Those green tongs, that's going to be how we feed the sharks. Quick question, how often do sharks get fed? Yell out some numbers. Somebody. Once a week? Anything different? Twice a day. Twice a day? Four times a day? Actually, you were closest with once a week. They get fed two times a week. These are cold-blooded animals, so they don't need to eat all the time. We actually eat or feed them every single day. They would cause them health problems. So twice a week. So, do any of you have a set area at the dining room table? I did. When I grew up, I couldn't sit in my brother's spot, my sister's spot, my mom's spot, definitely not my dad's spot. That I had my spot. Well, the sharks have their spots. Right across the way, sand tigers and nurse sharks. Towards that yellow target pole down there, that's going to be your uh, white tips and your sandbar. But these sharks have been conditioned to go to certain spots. If they have little silver nitrate dots on the right, they're a male, left on the female. And those silver nitrate dots each year have to be uh, replaced because they're kind of like henna tattoos. So with that, they do have to replace them. It's not like a permanent sort of tattoo that they'll have. And it just discolors that skin there. Um, but they do get high quality fish because even though they're sharks and they usually eat wounded, weak, sick, dying animals, we don't want to do that to them here. We want to give them that high quality to keep their health up. Any questions? Yeah, that's our female saltfish. That's good. <laughs> Nice and close, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Is, you all have a great day. Yes. This is a gift shop near Shark Encounter. These are cool. That's some really cool stuff in here. So we just went behind the scenes with the sharks and you come out of this gift shop, which is really nifty because it's very shark and deep diving themed. Oh, I love these. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that picture frame. That's Look at the 
the ride here is called Mako, M-A-K-O, so there's a lot of things with Mako. for joining us today. We certainly appreciate it. We hope you had as much fun as we did here at SeaWorld Orlando. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.